I understand that our majesties are with us this weekend. Your majesties, please approach. Please join us. Make way, make way for the majesties of Travers, Ari Deerbrander, and Sibylla Dane, and their royal heir, the Prince of Travers, Daniel von Hessen. Thank you, Your Excellency. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> This hereby opens the court of the Baron and Baroness of Darkwater. First, we'd like to say thank, thank you everyone for being here. It's early. We know. We're sorry. <laughs> this business, I couldn't wait. We needed to get it done, make sure we catch everybody while they're here before everyone departs for the day. Their Excellencies call forward Kathleen Tomlinson. <laughs> Apparently there was just enough alcohol out last night. <laughs> Well, you know, when the adults are playing, the children don't get to sleep either. That's true. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. Come on, there's pillows. Be easy on your knees. We're going to need them later. So, <laughs> I was regaling Her Excellency of a story about you. I think it's a pretty nice one. Do you remember a little over a year, or a little under a year ago, we were at, uh, at a big thing called Gulf Wars? Yes. And do you remember what you did at Gulf Wars? I fought out you. Well, we, we remember, I remember specifically you fighting because I was right there next to you. And I think you did an excellent job. And I think you represented <laughs> us very well represented the barony and the kingdom very well. So we wanted to do this. The drums of war sound and our brave warriors march to battle. We have seen you, Kathleen Tomlinson, prove to all that age matters not to a courageous heart. For defending our barony in war, we proudly name you to the order of starfish. Done this day in, by our hands, this 14th day of May, Anno Societatis 51. <laughs> <laughs> and a fierce little dragon, just for you. You are welcome. Thank you. And we play, we hope to see you at Gulf Wars this year. I plan on killing going. some more ants, Europe. I'll be still yelling at you though. That's okay. Kill the ants, Yorans. Kill the one. <laughs> Kill the enemies. Oh. All right. <laughs> Say, let's try. Oh, yeah, let's try. Nice, loud voice. Their Excellencies, call forward. Graven Ava von Uderecht call. She's in the booth. I'll go get her here. We're grabbing her. Phonetics. She's in registration at the moment. I can read in the chat. Phonetics. Yes. <laughs> so while we're waiting on Gravaneva, I wanted to show off something that we worked very hard for over our tenure. Um, 
getting new, nice new coronets for us. The previous ones we had, we had for almost eight years, which is an amazing lifespan for coronets. So we painstakingly drafted designs, painstakingly found an artist that was willing to go with my crazy designs, <laughs> and we wanted to make sure that everyone had the chance. Can I trust the Mongol? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know the guys with the keys are like all their stuff? No. <laughs> if in doubt, Taz, no. <laughs> Isn't that kind of like talking with money? You know, you know what? Even, even if you're pretty sure, no. Just <laughs> because I deserve that. of many hidden talents I accept that. and I have been privileged enough to see your workroom oh. and see the looms and see the fiber and I have been privileged to sit with you at demos and watch you spin and watch you weave and watch you instruct and then at our last village fair you entered our derby with a baker's dozen of incredibly beautiful woven napkins. And we felt that it was high time that you be recognized for your work. As the tapestry of our barony is enhanced by the threads you weave, so are we all enriched by your artistry and skill in the art of weaving. Thus do we, the Baron and Baroness of Darkwater, delight in naming you Aben Ava von Uderechtikal, as a companion of the Order of Acorns Glade, done this 21st day of Anno Societatis 51. Scroll, very especially crafted oh by Lady Moira Gray. Oh, thank you. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Thank you for what you Thank have you been doing for the Thank you very much, Your Excellencies, for the recognition, and it's been my pleasure to serve this barony, and I hope to continue to do so. I look forward to doing more weaving with you. Weaving classes coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Excellencies, call forward Master Richard LeWolf. <laughs> I know I've, I've seen him. Perhaps he's hiding. there's someone that could fetch him, that would be fantastic. Uh, I believe, thank you. Thank you. you. I'll take it. I'll go get him. <laughs> that would be interesting. Actually, I'll, I'll go get him. Even more interesting. I, I, I believe he's staying in Sim. Germans who really don't know how to use those things, but so, you, you can still use thank those you. things, it'll be fine. <laughs> Their Excellencies call forward Serafina de Florencia. Get your name, my dear. Bro, why can't I just change it? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
だうまいから。<笑> I reserved the right to call you up. You have been a member of this barony since you were born. And for the entire time you have been in this, on this earth, you have served and supported this barony. And it would not be the same without you. So it was important to me. And to me. Gavin, that we be the ones to get to know this. Deep in the earth, a foundation is rooted, supported the, supporting the keep above. We have seen the enduring service that you, Serafina de Florencia, have offered us, and we greatly pleased by your dedication and commitment. Thus do we, the Baron and Baroness of Darkwater, find it proper that you be added to the order of the Trident Keep done this 21st day of January, Anno Societatis 51. Uh -huh. by Ursula Blackpool, calligraphy by Meisterin Edelheid Linewater. Call forward Lady Hadassah bint Yosef. I didn't do it, I swear. Oh, you I, did. I don't agree with that at all. <laughs> she got the memo. Oh, like yes, today. indeed. So, how many of you know this lady? Wow, I think that's everyone. And <laughs> how many of you always see her at dark water events? Always serving in dark water kitchens, <coughs> retaining for dark water nobles. This lady, while she does not technically reside within our boundaries, is dark water. To her core, through her heart, without a doubt. And since we feel physical boundaries should not be a limit, we hereby officially adopt Lady Hadassah Ben Joseph and formally make her a member of Darkwater forever and henceforth, part of our populace, part of our people. <coughs> and you know, bureaucratic red tape, the official certificate got held up. These things take time, paperwork. Right, exactly. <laughs> but you are ours, and now the whole world can know it. You are ours always and forever. Always ours. She definitely got it now. Sending uh, Daniel Hawk with him was the best idea. Uh, yeah. We might have to cancel coronation. Oh. There, there, there'll be none of that. I'll be back. Uh oh. Oh, his Majesty's notes out of that one. Your, your Excellency? Oh. 
Oh, that one, he's got he's got two of them. Ah, your, your Majesty, he has more responsible guards. You know, there is one thing. They don't have a have a young so white girl screaming and going with them. So it can't possibly be a horror movie. I can fix that. No. No. <laughs> and it's not nighttime. Well, his high, no, his highest had the young white girl. Darn they went first. <laughs> they <laughs> went first. This is true. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> I, 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 I'm possible. a helper. Oh? I see a majesty. Not you. I'm not talking about you just getting made a knight. You're not just hungry. Uh-oh. His ears still burn. We will have to have words with that guy. Which one? See all of the above. Richard. Apparently not on site yet. Ah, uh, we thought we had seen him. But, uh, his highness prone to distraction was being his highness. Come forward. <laughs> Majesties, apologize for interrupting your court. Thane. What's up, cousin? The peace has been broken. Those, those dirty Johnsons, they've launched a raid on your lands. They've taken our cattle, killed our people. What has your sister done? Hey, hey, hey. My sister is not to blame for this. What has your know, brother done? My clan is far too honorable to be doing anything of that nature. No, no, no. My Hello, clan lady. would not possibly do that. I hate to say this, but those rampacious, awful, awkward Armstrongs are raising our village, taking our, 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 our cows and our sheep. <laughs> a day is well, red, 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 Hey, super open game. My thing will not stand for it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There must be some misunderstanding. Our betrothal brought peace to our clan. That was the idea. Your Majesty, perhaps while we were away from our lands, in your stead, it's disintegrated or deteriorated. With your leave, may we go straighten our families out? It'll start. Disorder amongst the lands cannot be had. Please, Not at all. see to this matter immediately. There is one problem. <clears throat> While we are away, you will not have representatives in our barony. We, we don't feel that we should continue as your baron and baroness for this barony while we are not here to represent you to the people. Well, these things being said, it is still important. God tended our lands for many years. And in doing this, we should continue to do so. We will find others to represent us. May we cast this burden on you. We thank you, Your Majesties, for allowing us to do this. And thank you for your time and service to us. Let us travel home. We got some things to sort out. This hereby closes the court of the Baron and Baroness of Darkwater. Michael, please come forward. While we resolve, who shall take these and govern over these lands in our stead? May we entrust you to guard these with your life and the future of the barony in your hands.
We're going to take a bit of time to see the Vicar and Vicaress. Uh, maybe found and established. So we'll take a short recess. All right. 15 minutes or so. We're going to check with them, see if they're ready. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> see, one of the glorious things for those that are visiting from out of kingdom, I had stated a few of you last night, um, being on Northie, we open our court when we get on site. So the traditional, hey, everybody gets a break and run off with the Herald Coaching Court, doesn't happen until we leave site. So, uh, I like that. <laughs> Let me stop this while we're while we're talking.